Hello everybody and welcome to another Who Week video. Um, you see the lighting's a little bit different. Same place, same stuff in the background, but lighting's a little bit different. I'm using natural light this time, I'm not using any false lighting. It is 8 o'clock in the evening and it's still bright daylight, being midsummer or middle of summer more or less. And of course we're just coming out of a very hot spell here in the UK. However, that isn't what I'm talking about today. What I am talking about today is um, Doctor Who title sequences. Now, it's not my favourite Doctor Who title sequences of past. It's the fan title sequences that have been coming out since Jodie Whittaker was announced as the Doctor last year. Um, now, um, the reason I'm doing this is because, obviously, if you know the story, Billy Hanshaw, who did the, the basis or the idea, the genesis of the 12th Doctor's title sequence, did it as a fan one, initially. And um, everybody's been jumping on the bandwagon this time to do a pan title sequence that, that works, you know, that will work for the new generation. Um, now, there's lots of variations out there. There's time tunnel, tunnel motifs and things like that. But there's only a few on this list here that I've got in front of me. But I've got six of them here ready to line up and I'll, you know, discuss them as we play them. Um, that I think are very good title sequences in their own right, or good ideas in those title sequences in their own right. Now, I don't expect Chris Chibnall to take any of them on board and use them. One of them was a rejected title sequence, apparently, from what I'm reading. Um, so we know that one's not going to go ahead. But the other five are concepts. It'd be interesting to see if any of them come to screen, but they are unique all in their own way. Now, here we go. Let's have a look at the first one, which is from a person called, uh, a guy called Dave Burgess. Now, he is, was known previously as Cloyster Productions, and this is his title sequence that's been out since February, and um, we'll see, you know, you'll be able to see it on screen here as a comment. Let's have a look. That's his logo. <laughs> Motion graphics and design, forgot about that. <laughs> I love the music, and then you've got the swirling clouds, and there's something coming up from the clouds, and the TARDIS spinning by, and then there's a silhouette of the Doctor. It's very clever, it's very classy, and it incorporates the new logo at that point as well, as you can see, um, on, the, on, the, on the link. Um, and then it comes into this kind of cloud pattern that has this kind of concentric, symmetric design, which I quite enjoy, I quite like that element. And it's an interesting design. There's some elements that are a bit iffy, like some of the, like most of these things. Um, but that one's actually quite cool. Um, I do quite like that sequence because it just shows um, an artistic style that you don't really see before. I mean, uh, there is a motif that Doctor's face will show when most of the title sequences happened in the past. This is another one of a different variation of it because the Capaldi ones just had the eyebrows. This one has a, a silhouette of the 13th Doctor in the famous picture that was one of the famous poses that's been released in the Doctor Who magazine. So that's where this comes from. And I do enjoy this one. And it's one of my favourites of the fan title sequences. The next one is one that I love the concept of. Uh, it, it is still travelling through space. But the way the concept works, I'm sure you'll agree when you see it. Now this is by Walrus in the Matrix. Walrus, Walrus is in the Matrix, rather. Um, and you see it's kind of an ink splots coming up that creates the new scene, which I think is really, really cool. And um, he's let this to be allowed for anybody else to use, so obviously he doesn't think it's going to be the title sequence, but I love the music in the background as well. This theme is showing on other um, ones as well, but this is where it's most effective, I think. And then he goes into the title sequence, which is kind of a variation of the time tunnel that we've seen. The nice triangle look to it as well, kind of harking back to the old series. Now, that logo you see there is from, this is the version 3 ink title sequence that he has. Um, now, that's the one that, it's got the new logo and the newer one, but I like this one because of the elements that come to the end. And this is a famous title where everybody thinks it's the girl who fell to earth. You don't think it is anymore, but that's what they thought at the time. Um, and the eyes coming out, the eyes. It's ridiculous, it's brilliant. Um, and that was released on Hogman A, the 31st December last year, and he's done three or four variations of it. He, he updated it for the new logo, but it doesn't quite work as well as far as I can see, so I prefer that one, the third version, which I think is a really good title sequence. Here we go to the next one, which is um, Jack Guidera. 
Um, and this is one that um, mixes a lot of elements, and it came out not long after Jodie Whittaker was announced. <laughs> the star field swirling round, I love that motif. And then it comes up the time tunnel in its additional Tom Baker-esque style slit scan coming up, which is brilliant. And then you got the image of Jodie coming up. Very Davison-esque, uh, very Sid Sutton-esque. And then you've got the logo, which is... I love the Doctor bit here and the way it spins round. I think it's really cool. I do like that harking back to the classic stuff. I know it's never going to be one of the sequences, but I like that play on the old sequences. And then you've got the time, the titles that come up um, in similar to late Tom Baker era uh, captions, which I think is great. I do enjoy that one. Um, and then we have another one here by Stuart Manning. Now this is the one that everybody knows, the one that was the, the failed one, which had Blair Mowat do the theme for. And this is the one that everybody was talking about a couple of months ago that he released. And I do enjoy this, and I do like this sequence. And it's it's a nice little spin on the on the, the what's gone before. And of course, um, it was released by him on the twenty third of March to YouTube. There's concentric lines for the time tunnel sequence, and just the way it works, it you know the way it comes through with all the sequences. And I love the the colour scheme as well. The bit I don't quite get is this, I know where that's coming from, there's a lot of sequences that are having kind of model porcelain bust things and then it comes up with her face. It's not the best conception in the world, but I do like the overall feel of it. I think it's really a good sequence and it's very strong. And of course it's got its own kind of font as well, which obviously the new series has gone with as well. It's a similar font that people are using now. Um, this one is one of the older ones, but it uses the same theme you saw on the Walruses in the Matrix video. Um, this one came out first though, and it's it's just a concept. It really is a concept, a mixture of different things, and it's quite an intriguing one. I don't think it will be the sequence that's used. I think there's something completely different coming up to, for us. Um, but this is one I do enjoy, and, and we'll play it and see what is. Let's have a look. I love the circles and that and the kind of concentric design. And then you've got something that looks like TARDIS wall. Or maybe it's not the TARDIS wall, maybe it's a Dalek thing. And then you've got a hole that goes through Eye of a Cyberman. And then these little blobs, one of them turns into Dalek. And then you've got the, the concentric hexagons there and then the TARDIS itself in different images. It's definitely a conception one. Um, but I do like the idea of it. It's not complete this one, but it's certainly something different, something new in the way the shapes work and everything and it's it looks quite cool I think. It's one of these sequences that you could watch quite a few times and I have. Um, all the all the jewels and the diamonds that are used in it. I do like that sequence. It's quite it's quite quite sweet, I think. And then finally we have one that's been released by Adam Walker last month. Now this is a more up to date one. It's an interesting take on the old time tunnel motif as you will see here. Um, it's called Fluidic Title Sequence Com Concept. <laughs> Easy enough. Um, and here it is. There's all this water and that coming through. I love the fact that it's, it, make, it makes the time, time tunnel look more like, you know, something exotic than just this traditional time tunnel style we've had. I love the fluid fluidity of it. It's it's an interesting take on the on the series uh, themes of the title sequence and um, I love the bubble bits as well that come up at that part as well. Um, oh yeah, 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 you got the... <laughs> they tried the eye, he's tried the eye motif again. <coughs> Excuse me. He's tried the eye tone motif again, which works really well. Um, and I do like that sequence um, and it's quite fun. Um, so that's one of the more modern, that's one of the newer ones. Um, there's not been a lot the past few months that I quite like, and that one's, that one's hit me quite well. I had originally five, and this one came in as a late runner, which was brilliant. Um, but what might, well, out of this five, out of the six, which one do I like the best? Um, actually, I do like Walrus in the Matrix, um, Walrus is in the Matrix uh, one. I think that's probably my favourite. Um, followed very closely by the uh, Stuart Manning one. 
I do like the Stuart Manning one. I think that's a very clever concept. Uh, it's a shame it's been rejected. We know it's going to be something different. I do like that concept. But out of those six, the links will be below of all the videos. Um, and tell me what you think. Let me know what you think. And, and tell me what you think the best of those sequences are. And which one you'd like to see in the new series um, as a title sequence. If Chris Jubinal goes down that route. I don't know how much you will. You'll create a new one and use different graphics companies and everything to do it. But it's interesting to see these fan ideas come out of how the sequence will look. Um, and it's only three months away now, the, the whole new series. So it's, it's getting rather exciting. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching as always. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you like any other videos related to Doctor Who, there's a comment, there's, um, some, there's a playlist up there for the Doctor Who videos. I'm really stumbling today. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe below and also comment. Let me know your thoughts about this video or any others in the vi on the channel. And I release a video every Sunday at 4 p.m. GMT. Next week, um, I'm doing a wee bit of a channel update. So um, stay tuned for that. But until then, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you later.